Oliver, and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Microsoft Flight Sim, where you might have missed it, but for April Fool's Day, there were two freeware planes. Uh, we will have to use the term planes loosely here, uh, that were released by Red Wing Sim and Got Friends. Uh, Red Wing Sim released this Citroen, the Citroen DS Phantomas, and Got Friends released a crate somewhere down below here. There we go. Got Jokes, April Fool's 23. So we are going to take a look at these. It's not really a crate. Uh, but we are going to take a look at these and the link to an article on both of them will be in the video description So the article will tell you about them and also give the links to each one and We will take a look this has four liveries in fact uh, They really went all out on their April Fool's Day joke uh, I, So yeah, I'll, I'll go with the red and uh, There is fuel. Uh, we'll go with 30 gallons. That's quite a lot for a uh, Car. I, I don't think the Citroen carries 30 gallons, so anyway, we are going to take off from this grass strip here outside of Versailles and head on north and uh, somewhere around there is Citroen headquarters. Okay, here we are in our Citroen and in fact, we could just sort of drive around using the throttle as, well, throttle and uh, the joystick can steer using yaw. And it can get a decent speed. Uh, the speedometer isn't exactly matching. Oh, I guess it... Oh, uh, yeah, I think it is in kilometers per hour. So, yeah, we're going like 70 knots and oh boy. Brakes work. But of course, we want to see about flying this, this uh, interesting vehicle. So, we actually have to check underneath the sun visor, and it says turn key and press start. We've turned key, and this is the starter. I think it's already started though, so we didn't need to do that. But then we have a sequence of little things to do on that over there. Tail deploy? Hold on, let's park. So then we have a little tail popping up. Interesting uh, sort of crash test dummy kind of thing, or uh, Blue Man Group? Blue Man Group, maybe? Anyway, um, then we have the Wing Extend, which is like that, and now we have wings. Sort of like a James Bond car kind of thing. Engine Deploy. I, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's like that. Yeah. Two nozzles coming out the back there. Okay. And then finally, rocket engine start. But maybe before I do that, we should not be pointed directly at trees. Okay, right. Rocket engine start. We do need some runway. doesn't like to take off much. In fact, you max out the speedometer well before you take off. But we do get off the ground. I found that it overstresses at 250 knots, so I'm throttling back. And here we go. Sort of, there is a Harry Potter feel to it, but not quite. Not exactly. Because that one didn't have wings, it had magic, right? This one has magic too, but of a different sort. And Poissy, where I think the Citroen headquarters is, is directly north of here right now. So we'll just fly over that area. It handles pretty well once it takes off, but it is very reluctant to get off the ground. As you can tell by the wheels, it's not like it can rotate off the runway very easily. The wheels do turn when you're uh, on the ground and driving, so that's nice. It's actually a reasonably fun ride. So somewhere around here, this is Poissy. Somewhere is presumably Citroen headquarters according to Google. 
Maybe it's this huge complex. I should land on the roof of it. This takes probably a little bit of a ways to stop, though. Unfortunately, this was too far out from the center of Paris for them to have the photo scenery. I mean, the photogrammetry. Alas. We're going at about 200 knots right now. Oh, I should put the sun visor back up. Well, it tells you stall speed 60. But again, it took a while to get off the ground because of the wheel positions. Approach 80 knots. Take off 42. Now, I can't get it off of the ground at 42. But maybe I'm just not pulling up hard enough. It's got uh, the, some traditional instruments under there. But let's hide that. We don't need those. I've got external instruments anyway. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't handle very well at 100 knots, so I don't know about that stall speed. I I, I can't pull up very well at 100 knots. I I'm full back on the stick, and it is it is uh, wiggling around quite a lot. So I'm gonna say that that stall speed is probably dangerous. Anyway, Citroen alongside the Eiffel Tower. Really, that's a nice rendition of the Eiffel Tower. Very detailed. I don't think I've gotten quite as close to it before. There's too many trees for me to try to land it on the road. Oh, uh, it doesn't like to turn very much either. Uh, <laughs> there's a different, definite sense that it's going wacky when you turn. Oh, jeez. I think we'll just land at Charles de Gaulle. It's the easiest thing. Well, Citroen and the Arc de Triomphe. Again, getting real close here. Something about flying in a car just makes you want to get close to the monuments. The rumble of the engines is actually pretty satisfying. There's a red thing flashing there. Don't seem to be out of fuel or anything, but there's a red thing flashing there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just uh, one of the markers, but it's not making a tone. Okay, it is my first time trying to land this. And again, uh, I seem to disagree with the assessment under the visor as far as its stall speed is concerned. But maybe that's part of the April Fool's joke, I don't know. It often feels like a flying Citroen. <laughs> it's not, uh, I mean, a straight line is not bad, but when you try and turn, it can feel very rough. Okay, well, we're on the ground and going very fast. Oh, brakes, yeah. It's a bit of a beast. Once you're all done, let's see, can we turn off the engines? Yeah, we can turn off the engines, undeploy them, unextend the wings, unextend the tail, and we get the normal... Oh, but it's not retracting? Oh no, they're taking a long time though. Okay, and then we're a normal inconspicuous Citroen here at Charles de Gaulle Airport on the taxiways for some reason. All right, well that was the offering by Red Wing Sim, which is really cool. So now we get to see what's in the crate by Got Friends, or Got Jokes as it says here. Uh, and it's super appropriately right next to the GBs, by the way. But we can't really see what it is from the liveries. We can tell that it has 0.5 gallons of fuel. And that's going to be important. I'll put 0.3 in. And we're going to see how that works out in San Diego. Okay, so here we are. We don't have a whole lot of instrumentation. It's a fancy steering column there. And throttle. And we have just the airspeed altimeter and RPM gauge. But we also have a coin slot and a coin tray. And it says $1 to play and $0.25 cents to continue. And basically... Uh, it only has 0.5 gallons of capacity and 
presumably you can fill up by using those coins and we are going to check that out but first let's take a look outside it's really squirrely and you can see why I look at the little thing you can also see why I said it's appropriate that it was next to the GB's it's like a super GB uh, look at the little thing whoa does it have realistic aerodynamics I doubt it but it, it's gonna feel <laughs> it's gonna feel interesting it's not gonna be the easiest thing to fly that's for sure okay so let me zoom out a little bit wow that's too well maybe that's all right okay let me try and take off in it but I tried it out during a live stream and I I have been chastened we are not gonna try and pull up too soon okay uh, all right now it's okay and I'll try to limit it to the speedometer here so 180 uh, sorry 160 160 knots so there it is this little guy by got friends oh no I've disappeared I guess sometimes oh no I've, I've reappeared okay now the reason I picked San Diego was I was hoping to get out to our amphibious carrier remember I had showed in a previous video Let's see if it's over there. But yeah, this is a cute little thing. Oh, 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 oh no. No, we, we've already lost fuel. No, continue. I don't feel it refueling. Please. Maybe I have to put a whole dollar in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, if it's completely out of fuel, you might want to put a whole dollar in. Um, I better put some extra just in case. It only puts a minimal amount of fuel if you put a dollar in. So that actually works. So you can refuel by putting coins in the coin slot. Of course, if you're already full up, it's not going to do anything. So, And frustratingly, there's no... Uh, there's no fuel indicator, so... Yep, it's sort of an April Fool's joke in that respect, in that you have no idea when it's gonna run out. Unless you've got some external instrumentation. Or you check the fuel thing constantly. What is that over there? That's not my carrier, is it? I think maybe things are not rendering very well today. Oh, we're going really fast. I think that's supposed to be the carrier, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't suppose it pops up on the map. I should have put a little marker. Oh no, that is uh, AG1. That's that's supposed to be the amphibious carrier over there. Clearly it's not working quite right. Do you have to start on the carrier for it to work out? Well, I'm going to try and start on the carrier and see what happens. Well, the carrier's here when I start with it. I don't know if I can take off in the distance that we have here. Whoa. Uh oh, don't, 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 don't give me lag. Uh oh. Whoa. I can't take off in the distance that we have there. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. So we can take off from the carrier, but we can't see it on approach from something else, potentially. Or at least it wasn't showing me in that case. It might be solved by something else, or if I just restart a program or something. But anyway, those are the April Fool's jokes by Got Friends and Red Wing Sim. And, I mean, they're not... I mean, they're a lot of effort to just call a joke, to be honest. So, yeah, hopefully people can enjoy those. I certainly will. 
uh, just for amusement to relax every now and again. And yeah, so I'll put the link in the video description. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.